everybody, Linda here. It's time for music. I'm so glad to see you at music time today. Will you clap your hands with me while we count to eight? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now let's do something harder because you are so great. We're going to do pat, pat, clap, clap for a count of eight. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That was so very easy for you because you are so great. Let's do it fast. Pat, pat, clap, clap, pat, pat, clap, clap for a count of eight. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How about this time it's something else because it's trickier for you. Let's do knee, knee, I, I. For a count of eight, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How about this one? I hope that I don't trick myself. We're gonna do shoulder, shoulder, chicken wings down. For a count of eight, here we go. One, two, chicken wings down. Five, six, chicken wings down. I'm so glad to see you. Let's make this the very last one. We're gonna do shoulder, eye, eye, shoulder. For a count of eight. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You guys are getting really good at this game. Let's get started. Did you ever try to get fruit from a tree that was very, very tall? Well, Simbalele was trying to get fruit from a tree that was very, very tall. The type of tree that it was grew fruit that was like yellow and kind of orangey. Sometimes they grow and they're green and red. But he was trying to figure out, how can I get that mango down? He started getting really hungry thinking about it. How would you get it down? It was really hard to climb this tree. The first branch was way, way up high. Well, he found something on the ground. It was a stone. And he picked it up threw it at the tree tried to hit a mango but it did not hit the mango and guess what it fell down on his head oh poor Simbalele had to go home and go to bed so we're gonna hear a song about that and I'm gonna ask you to do some fun things while we sing it here we go Simbalele was a show And we have some fun dances to do, so get ready. Stand up. Put your finger on, put your finger on, put your finger on your nose. Put your finger on, put your finger on, put your finger on your nose. Turn around and clap, clap. 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 Put 
your finger on, put your finger on, put your finger on your head. Put your finger on, put your finger on, put your finger on your head. Turn around and clap, clap, turn around and clap, clap, turn around and clap, clap, turn around and clap, clap. Put your finger on, put your finger on, put your finger on your me. Put your finger on, put your finger on, put your finger on your silly put your finger on put your finger on put your finger on your eye turn around and clap clap 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 put your finger on put your finger on put your finger on Tummy. Put your finger on, put your finger on, put your finger on your tummy. Turn around and clap, clap. 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 And now it's time to see. What's inside the magic drum? 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 Uh... Oh, well, this is very interesting. It's hmm, a fan, a visor. To block the sun? Hmm. Maybe it's a pretend mirror. I can't see anything in it. I know what this is, and it reminds me of a story I remember and a song. Hmm. Once upon a time, Space Cowboy was having so much fun playing with their ping pong paddle. While that was happening, Space Unicorn was walking around trying to think of what to do. They were looking for something fun and thinking really hard. Space Unicorn looked all around to try and find something. They looked up and down. Huh. What looks like fun? And then Space Unicorn saw it. It was a beautiful red paddle. Space Unicorn walked over closer to the paddle. They really, really wanted it. They didn't even notice that Space Cowboy was still using it and that Space Cowboy's hands were on it. Space Unicorn really wanted that paddle and they got closer and closer and then you won't believe it. Space Unicorn grabbed the paddle and ran away. And they were having so much fun with it. Oh, Space Unicorn was having so much fun. It was the best time. But oh, look what happened. Space Cowboy's face is very sad. Space Cowboy is frustrated too. Oh, Really nice 
red paddle and it was so much fun and I was hitting the ball and then, and then the unicorn took it from me. Oh no, were you finished with it? No, I was having so much fun and now I'm not having any fun. Oh, you were still using it. I was, I was still using it. Let's go find Space Unicorn. Space Unicorn, come on over. Oh, hi Space Unicorn. Are you having so much fun? You are, I don't know if you knew this, but if you look at Space Cowboy over here, Space Cowboy has a very sad face. They're really sad. Did you know they were still using that paddle? This is a very sad story. Let's rewind and try this again. Let's go back in time. Once upon a time, Space Cowboy was having so much fun with the ping pong paddle. Space Unicorn was walking around looking for something fun to do. <sighs> she looked all around. It was really hard to find anything. Finally, they saw that paddle. <gasps> it looked like so much fun. And then Space Unicorn noticed that it was attached to Space Cowboy's hands. Space Cowboy's still using it. So Space Unicorn, did you want to use that paddle? I do. Oh, did you know there are some words you can use? What words? You know, when you see a toy and you really want to turn, you can say, can I have it when you're done? Can I have it when you're done? Exactly, yeah. Okay, I'll try it. Can I have it when you're done? Hmm. Space Cowboy seems to keep on playing. I don't know if Space Cowboy knows that you're talking to them. Maybe you should walk up so gently and look at them, maybe even tap them on the shoulder and say, Space Cowboy, Hi, Space Cowboy. Hi, Unicorn. And you can say those words. Let's do it together. Can, can I have, have it when, when you're, you're done? done? Oh, yeah, of course. Sure. Yes, you can have it when I'm done. Great. That's so great. You're welcome. I think I saw something over there. Hold on a second. Wait, what is this? Oh. What is it? <gasps> it's what? another paddle. Can you believe that sometimes wow. you might be able to find the same thing? together. Yeah! Oh, that would be fun. I think I see a ping pong table. Oh, cool. Oh, Let's go. Yeah. Come on, guys. Oh, one, two, three, four. When I see a toy, I really want to turn. It's in someone's hands, so I have to learn. Don't grab it. Don't take it. a song about a tree as if I were a tree oh what a tree I would be look at these beautiful trees wow there's so many beautiful trees here and if, if I were a tree what a tree I'd be if I were a tree what a tree I'd be if I were a tree what a tree I'd be if I were a tree a tree now 
if I were a tree, I would have a trunk. Now, when I say trunk, you guys stomp your foot and get really big like this and say, trunk. Try it. Trunk. trunk. All right, let's try. I would have a trunk. Trunk. If I were a tree, what a tree I'd be. If I were a tree, what a tree I'd be. I were a tree, what a tree I'd be. If I were a tree, a tree. Now, if I were a tree, I would have some branches. And now you say, Branches. Branches. <laughs> if I were a tree, what a tree I'd be. If I were a tree, what a tree I'd be. If I were a tree, what a tree I'd be. If I were a tree, a tree. I would have some branches. Branches. I would have a trunk. Trunk. tree I would have some leaves and when I say leaves we go like this can you try it if I were a tree what a tree I'd be if I were a tree what a tree I'd be if I were a tree what a tree I'd be if I were a tree a tree I would have some leaves Would you have space cowboy? Mmm, I'd have an apple. <gasps> I would have an apple too. And I would eat it up like this. Mm. Try that. Nom, 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 nom. I were a tree, what a tree I'd be. I were a tree, what a tree I'd be. I were a tree, what a tree I'd be. If I were a tree, a tree. I would have some apples. Nom, 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 nom. I would have some leaves. I would have branches. Branches! I would have a trunk. Trunk! If I were a tree, what tree I'd be? If I were a tree, what tree I'd be? If I were a tree, what tree I'd be? everybody. All right, so today is a very special day because we're all working together on a really big project. Remember the goats, our friends the goats, the three billy goats? They really like to eat all kinds of plants. And that noise that you hear is us building something to protect some new baby little plants that we are growing right now on the farm. I'll show you the baby plants that we're growing. Hello. Hello at home. I'm watering the babies. Oh, this is my friend Bree. She's watering the babies, but I don't see any babies over there. There's little seeds inside the soil that are waiting to sprout out and they need water. Oh, so you have a hose here. Yes. Well, that looks like a really long hose there. Yes, it's a long hose and we make it rain oh, by look. opening the water. <gasps> it's raining. <laughs> well, what are you growing over there in all those little um, piles of dirt. Growing tomatoes and peppers and kale and lettuces and herbs and parsley and flowers. It's a lot of stuff to eat. Yeah. All right, well, we'll check in with you later and see how they're growing yeah, on another day. Yeah, come back and see when they sprout. Okay, bye. <laughs> well, they sure are growing now and we've taken them out of the greenhouse and they're getting ready to be planted. And wouldn't the goats love to get their mouths on these tasty little plants? So we are building a fence to protect them so the goats can't eat them. Here are the goats, and right now, they can just walk right over here. And when those plants grow, they could come and eat them. 
So that's why we've got these silver pieces of fencing here that we're putting up right now to protect the babies from the goats. Okay, what are we doing, Bonnie? Yeah, we're, we're digging a hole. We're for a fence post. Each of us has a different tool. We're all taking turns. This is called a roto hammer with the drill bit. Uh -huh. I'm gonna get real deep in there and break the dirt up. Dream wow. Up. Well, that's like fun. This is a breaker bar. So it's like a little chisel on the end of a really heavy iron bar. So then you just do this and try to break up the dirt. Oh, and then Mackenzie's gonna pull it out. Yep. This is kind of two shovels put together with a hinge. Whoa. So I, I go like this. Okay, let's get a good look and at put this. Put it in the hole and then lift the dirt out. Open the hinge and lift the dirt out. Oh, the pile. wow. Cool. And what are we gonna put in that hole? A fence Oops. post. Yeah. Big old fence post so that we can attach the gate to it. I guess it's. Kind of like that gate there. Huh. And then the goats won't be able to come in and eat all the plants, right? Yep, yep. that's the plan. Cool, because there they are. Yep. And they sure like to eat plants. <laughs> Post hole number two. Time to see how deep it is. It takes a lot of teamwork. Bonnie goes, Tori goes, Mackenzie goes. They all take a turn and then the work gets done. All right. Hi, Mackenzie. I was wondering, can I have that when you're done? Sure, yeah. I'll let you know when I'm done with it. Okay, sounds good. It looks like a lot of fun, that power tool, huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it does. <laughs> This one's still fun too, though. That's good to do something fun while you're waiting for the thing you want. Yeah. I think I'm done with it now. Do you want to give it a try? Yeah, that'd be great. Do you want to try this one? I do, thanks. Cool. Stuff in that bag yep. is going to get all mixed together so, to make a special we'll mixture like that will turn into right something like concrete. Look at it, look at it grow. Whoa. Watch. It's so come cool. all the way up. Mm -hmm. It's gonna overflow the hole. We cut it, you can cut it with just a knife or scissors. It oh. goes like hour and trim it down. It's gonna keep coming up. Here's what it looks like now. Bonnie did some cutting around it so that it would look nice and even and wouldn't pop up above the ground. Time. I hope you did too. It's time to say goodbye. Wave bye to friends.